serious riots in Corsica. It was not until March 2022 that the French Mediterranean island, which is actually known as a vacation island, was once again the scene of serious riots. Public buildings were set on fire, Molotov cocktails were used, used against water cannons and there were injuries on the part of the demonstrators and police officers. The reason for the riots, the Corsicans are dissatisfied with the government in Paris. They are therefore striving for more autonomy, with many also calling for complete independence. Independence from France. But why are the Corsicans so dissatisfied? How is the government in Paris reacting to the protests? The protests and how likely is Corsican independence from France really? Actually be? We take a look at all these questions in today's video. Have fun. Since the late Middle Ages, Corsica, which is the fourth largest island in the Mediterranean, belonged to Genoa. They developed the island as an important outpost for their navy. But the inhabitants of the island were never really satisfied with Genoa's rule. Genoa. This led to the formation of an independence movement early on, which became increasingly influential from the 18th century gained more and more influence. In 1729, the first major, first major uprising against the Genoese, and in 1736 the Kingdom of Corsica was. The Kingdom of Corsica was proclaimed for the first time. The German adventurer Baron Theodor von Neuhoff was crowned king was extremely popular with the people as he promised democratic structures in the spirit of the Enlightenment. However, his reign did not last long as the Genoese called on the French for help, forcing him to abdicate, was forced to abdicate. Over the next few years, more and more adventurers and freedom lovers came to the island, came to the island, advocating an independent, democratic state of Corsica. In 1755, an independent Corsica was proclaimed once again. The Corsicans gave themselves a democratic constitution, which today is considered the first constitution of the Age of Enlightenment. Enlightenment. In doing so, they followed both the United States, which had adopted a constitution after the American Civil War in 1776 and France, which adopted a constitution during the French Revolution in 1776, which received its first constitution in the course of the French Revolution in 1791. Before them, Incidentally, the Corsican's unconditional desire for independence is said to have also inspired the founding fathers of the United States. However, the Genoese then found it too much and sold the island to France. France. This led to a conflict between the new occupiers and the Corsicans. Corsicans. However, as the French army was vastly superior, it was able to quickly defeat the quickly defeat the rebels and eliminate the young democracy. And apart from a brief period during the French Revolution, when the island fell to England, Corsica remained an integral part of France from then on. And, from then on, they tried to consolidate their rule over the island, among other things. Among other things, Corsican was ousted from the schools and the administration, and administration and replaced by French. Many Corsicans felt oppressed by the French and a counter-movement was formed. Counter-movement was formed, which campaigned for independence. And this movement continues. To this day, it is not only active in politics and public life, but also repeatedly uses violence to emphasize its demands. For this reason, there have also been repeated incidents in the recent past of and clashes with the police. However, the political independence movement is also becoming increasingly popular. Popularity. Since 2015, the separatists have even held a majority in the regional parliament. However, there are always upheavals here too, as different groups pursue different groups pursue different goals. Some are striving for more autonomy from Paris, while others are calling for complete independence from France. But how likely is Corsica's actual independence? Experts consider complete independence to be rather unlikely at the present time. Unlikely. Current polls do not show a majority in favor of independence. In favor of independence? What the Corsicans are in favor of, however, is more autonomy. They want full sovereignty over financial and economic issues, social policy, as well as more influence for the Corsican language. Paris faces a dilemma here, as it fears that making too many concessions could trigger a domino effect. Trigger a domino effect. After all, there are already other French. Regions, such as Brittany, are also demanding more independence. Macron had initially even proposed recognizing Corsica's special status in the Constitution. In the Constitution, but a revision plan for 2019 ultimately did not materialize. Did not materialize in the end. Many Corsicans felt betrayed. As a result, Large-scale protests continue to break out on the island. How the situation will end is currently uncertain. However, the separatists will certainly continue. Majority in the regional parliament, the separatists will certainly continue to fight for more autonomy and more independence from France.